here we go. What is up, everybody? And I know for the last couple of days, what's been making head waves is Ken Pender. So let's discuss this. Sonic Stadium wrote, a, wrote an article about this. Let's get this party started. Ken Penders releases the Lara Sue Chronicles prologue book after 13-year development, a prelude to the real thing featuring reprints of Archie Sonic Comics. Former Sonic, Sonic comic writer Ken Penders has begun shipping orders of a prologue book for his upcoming solo project, the Lara Sue Chronicles, 13 years after the graphic novel series was first announced. And some Sonic the Hedgehog characters are being used right here. And I know what you're all probably saying is, should Sega file lawsuits at Ken Penders for this? I'll get to that in a, in a few minutes, but I'm just going giving out some context here and there. And Ken Penders revealed that uh, he has been seeing strong sales at the beginnings of the book. Not that things are going absolutely gangbusters. I've received many orders in less than 24 hours, and I have in some months during the pre-sale. And for some, it seems like the wait has been worth it. Now, for Sega, should they file lawsuits? Well, they should if they actually care. Again, you know, like, what is the difference between uh, this fan-made project and a million other fan projects that everyone on the internet has already done using the Sonic intellectual property name? You know, why would it even matter? Well, if they're using Sonic the Hedgehog-style uh, characters, and if they're using them in graphic novels and not in a PG way that Sega should file lawsuits to protect their intellectual property. I mean, let's be real here. If this was Nintendo, they would file a lawsuit immediately if their characters are being portrayed like this. Now, for Penders, on the other hand, he could try to state the narrative and says, well, he does technically own them here and there. It's kind of a gray area when you look at it for both sides. So a lawsuit, you know, again, you know, it could go, you know, either direction. I mean, you don't know what's going to happen. And speaking of that, I don't even think Penders could even afford a lawsuit. I mean, not too long ago, during Sonic the Hedgehog uh, 1 or 2's uh, production, uh, when the Echidna Tribe was brought up for some reason, Ken Penders, I don't know if he was serious or not, he was just bullshitting, said he would threaten to file a lawsuit against Sega and Paramount for the use of the Echidna Tribe during that one scene right there explaining uh, Knuckles' backstory, and all of a sudden, nothing happened. Ken Penders, this is the same man who's responsible for the failure of Archie Comics, or its downfall. And he's also the man responsible for why Sonic Chronicles will never get a sequel if you look behind the scenes. I'll make a take about that at another different time. But again, I mean, tell me one positive thing about Ken Penders, please enlighten me, because every time you hear his name, the fandom just hates this guy so much. Again, everybody, let me know what we all think about this, and I gotta go. Peace out.